Hi, Nona. Hi, Marsha, maybe. Marsha. Oh, Lord, I'm sideways again. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to see if I can straighten this out. Hey, Denise. Hi there. Thought we could finish this up. Oh, I'm still, oh no, I'm right now. Well, good morning to you, but it's afternoon here. Marcia, good. Hi, Carol. Hi, Denise. Living by Grace, I don't know your name, but hi there. Okay, thought we could finish up the last part of our nameplate, or if you're doing it somewhere else in your Bible, um, wherever. Today we're going to do the pansy and the berries. I don't think you really need any instructions on the berries, but I'll just show you real quickly. Okay, to do the Trisha. Okay. You might have to keep reminding me, Tricia, that you're living by grace. I'll try to remember, but if I remember one each time, I'll be doing good. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how I did the pansy. Pronounce shop. Okay, Patricia. Marsha. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, hi, Kim. All right, just like everything else, I'm going to break it down into the shapes that I see so that we're going to just do a circle for the pansy. So I'm going to draw a circle, and I know I'm repeating myself, but don't do it this dark in your Bible. Hi, Laura. Cherie, hi there. Um, don't do it this dark in your Bible because it makes it harder to erase. Okay, down, uh, not in the center, but down a little bit, just that's where the center of the pansy is going to be. So that's where you'll start. And I'm just going to kind of curve down this way and curve down this way, starting at the same point, go up and over kind of like that. Okay, and then we're going to make a petal out of those. So I'm going to always forget to go over these lines. I'm not sure if my micron is working. I left the top off of it, which is not a good thing. Okay, and then just, you can come outside your circle a little bit to do this. Same thing over here. Hi, Laurie. Okay, I'll erase my lines and then show you the rest of it. Okay, so then you've got the pansy shape. Okay, and what I did was just do a little kind of zigzaggy line around the middle part. And then I did um, where it's going to be dark in each one. Like that. Okay. And... You can also, once again, put some of your little lines just real lightly with your micron. Just to give a little shape. Um, this petal is underneath, so I'm going to go all along this side. Same over here. Yeah, my pen is about to go. I think I'm going to have to buy a new one. Okay, you get the idea. There's also, I don't think I drew that up here, but there's a little 
something kind of like that. All right, now pansies come in every color known to man, so um, I decided, you know, I didn't want to do the same color as something else, so um, I picked a purple one with a yellow center. So this, this center part, I'm just going to color it yellow. And I couldn't find exactly a purple that I wanted, so I'm just combining a kind of two different colors, a blue one and a purple one. And so on this part, I'm coloring dark on those little things. And these are Prisma uh, Premier Pencils. And then the rest of the flower, I'm going to leave a white space around um, on all of them. And so I'm just going to color in lightly with the blue this time. And if I miss a comment, I hope I'll catch it in a minute. I, I'm sitting down right now to do this. Usually I have to stand up to see my phone. I've got my iPad in front of me, but it's really delayed, and sometimes it kind of confuses me a little bit. And then I'm going to go over with this, um, this color, whatever it is, kind of a purpley color, but... Um, like I said, I couldn't get exactly the purple that I wanted. Okay, and I'm going to darken a little bit along this edge. Just because I don't want anything to be one solid color. And because that petal is underneath, I'm going to darken this edge. And this one. And it looks like this petal is on top, so I'm going to darken along here. Going back and darken, darkening a little bit more. If if whoever that is calls my cell phone, y'all, it'll cut me off, but then I'll come back on and finish this up, even though I'm almost finished already. Okay, like I told you the other day, I couldn't find my, I, somewhere my white pencil has walked, and so that's what I usually burnish with. Um... But you can use a lighter color of anything if you don't have a blending pencil, which I don't have. So I'm just using this real pale color. And I'm going to go over this dark, I mean heavy. And I don't know if it shows up on the scope, but it really blends the colors together. I'll pick it up in just a second and show it to you. And maybe you can see the difference in this one and the petal beside it. So it kind of blends all those colors that I used. 
with this so you can see the difference in that okay so I'm I won't finish that right now um, so you can that's how you do the pansy and then the little berries are just simple Well, it really does. Sometimes I use, um, and let me see if I can show you that. If I can, I took all my paint brushes to Sunday school, so I don't know if I. Yeah, here's one. Um, I'll show you with Gamsol too. Sometimes I Gamsol is odorless mineral spirits, and you can do the same thing with that. If you paint over it, the Prisma pencils, it it makes it act a little bit like watercolor, and it blends that as well. So it does the same kind of thing um, and you can see the difference in this one and these two and this one so you can use the odorless mineral spirits too and it doesn't wrinkle your Bible pages so you can use it um, on those and don't have to worry about wrinkling um, okay so for the berries I just basically drew little circles And then connected them. And for mine, I used a uh, red and just colored them in. On some, I did. I don't know if y'all saw my page I posted of the Christy Rice Painterly Days coloring book, but on those, I went in with a darker color and did a little dark shadow on each side, but. Um, these are so small. What I did today was I've got this um, Sharpie water-based paint pen, and it's extra fine, but as you can see, it's not too terribly fine. And so I just went in and put a highlight dot on each one of those. This Sharpie watercolor pen is really good because it sits on sits on top. I'll answer that question in just a second. And then I kind of touched it just so it would kind of blend in, as you can see from my polka dot fingers. Um, so that just gives a little highlight to the berry. And then I just used a um, darker green and um, painted that in. So that was it. Um, I do use Gamsol on my Bible pages, and it's fine. Just takes a few minutes to dry. It doesn't bleed through, and it um, it smooths it out. So it depends on what kind of look I want. Sometimes, if I want something to look like watercolor, I might do this color on it, and then um, let's see if I can show you. You wet it, and you can see how it blends. You can even paint with it, and and gradually. Sometimes I do it on backgrounds where I want it to look real painterly and like watercolor, and, and you can gradually fade it out. And it works fine over the words, and you can still see your words. So that's that's Gamsol. Let me see if I've got the... Hold on, and I'll show you. Uh -huh. Hold on one second. There are probably other brands, but this is just the one that um, that I use, and it's odorless. Um, Laurie, I've never had a problem with mine leaking, so I don't I don't know what to tell you, but it it hasn't caused a problem for me. So anyway, that's it. Yeah, I could use that pansy to make a tab. I've got all kinds of little flowers drawn around here that I've demonstrated on, but most of them I've messed up because I've gone back and added something else to them or scratched on them or whatever. So I've got several for my demonstrations that I've done. Anyway, you're welcome. That was a quickie today, but uh, I've seen some people do this one. I've, I've seen a couple of cone flowers. I can't remember if I've seen anything else, though, so uh, I know some people have had trouble tagging me on Facebook, and so they've sent me a message, and I've been able to go in and look at their work. I think you can tag fine if you go on the, um, if you do it on your computer, but some people said they were having trouble. It doesn't highlight when you try to do it on the telephone. 
I'm so glad you joined too, Carol. And y'all send me a message if there's anything else you want me to do. I'll, I'm sure I'll come up with something else eventually. No, you don't have to be friends. You have to be like in the Bible groups, the Bible journaling groups. I can tag people in there without any problem, without them being my friends. So, um, anyway, thank you for encouraging me. I appreciate it. And if you get sick of seeing me, I'll quit. But if you want me to keep on going, I will. Pretty flowers. Okay, that's a, that's a one I'm not real familiar with, but I think it's about an African daisies. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to look those up. I know Protea is like something from Hawaii, if I'm not mistaken, but um, I'll I'll see what I can do. And we might need to do something besides flowers. Aren't y'all getting sick of flowers? Even though it's hard, to, that would be really hard to do. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll keep on going. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll catch you next time. Get to drawing. Peace plan. I need to write these things down.